ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਲਵਲੀ ਨਿੱਜੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਸਾਡੇ ਆਲਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੈਗੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਨੀਰੂ ਲਵਾਸਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਲੇਬਰ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਟਾਕਾ ਨਿਨੀ ਇਲੈਕਟਰੇਟ ਤੋਂ ਸੋ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਨੀਰੂ ਟੂ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਸਾਡੇ ਆਲਾ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਕਿਉਰ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਲੋਫ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਲਵਲੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ this this is a question that i've been really itching to ask um you are a doctor um how does it sit really with the the political career that you're now opting for i think um cuz so i've been a medical doctor for about 12 years now in yeah. south auckland and the thing that we all talk about as clinicians that a lot of the issues that try to uplift health is outside of the clinic and outside yeah. of the hospital so it's yeah. it's more the social issues the housing the poverty so that's why i put my hand up in terms of the politic if you want to call it political that yeah. i just wanted to come out of the community and do my bit to um get involved and influence policy where that can uplift the health of everyone so that's why i've gone to politics that re- that makes sense now <laughs> um is there anything that you're really itching to do like as in uh, if should you when the tekanini um electorate as a labor candidate mm-hmm. um is there something that is on your list as in the number one item that you are really looking forward to clear off well i think um coming into and being selected as a labor candidate obviously the 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 skills that i bring to the yeah. role um so number one is pretty much getting really involved in policy and health policy yeah. where i can use my knowledge my experience Your expertise. my expertise yeah. so that will be my i guess my number one thing i want to take off is getting now now more than yes, ever yes, now yes. more than ever in the current times yes. where health is the burning topic of yeah. the world yeah. and yeah. i think the times that we all have actually been through we have absolutely realize how important health is in in current times isn't it yeah definitely yeah. with with this current covid situation yeah. and um and i mean before i was selected as a candidate i sat on one of the advisory groups for the ministry of health for covid-19 so yeah. um again um just bringing that sort of knowledge and trying to help where i can to, for all new zealanders yes to to protect ourselves from covid yeah yeah that's that's really great to hear mm-hmm. uh dr neru now for the uh, the tekanini electorate obviously a lot of uh, the population there is actually mm-hmm. the punjabi community so mm-hmm. can you tell us a little bit about how do you actually connect to the punjabi community or the indian community in mm-hmm. general so what means ever since i got selected and uh, i've been on the ground just yes. pretty much engaging with uh Punjabi community via first of all going to um the Sikh temple yeah. um and also engaging via um social media online um yeah and just getting out there in in the electorate itself yeah. uh whether it be phone calling people yeah. and and door knocking so really trying to engage all communities but really um I know that there's a huge Punjabi community Indian community yeah within the area so Yes absolutely <laughs> yeah. what do you like the best about us <laughs> Well, <laughs> so warm. Um I think yeah. uh uh every every Sikh temple that I've been to uh, been so warm and and hospitable. I mean, I've never gone to a temple before. Yeah. And the first thing you do is go and grab a, you know, for us we grab a feet and yeah. yeah I love the tea. You uh, love the tea. I, I really love the tea yeah. and and I've, I've um I've got some pointers of how to make the tea itself, but yeah. um I think the, you know, the Punjabi community I really uh caring um really nice to to have more of a deeper connection and they're not um superficial they really want to know That's who you are yeah. so now nah, similar to my pacific background as well yes. yeah so yeah. i i find the similarities similarities the, between yeah. the the two cultures yes. yeah yeah mm-hmm. Um we we've discussed a little bit about why do you actually want to or why mm-hmm. have you opted for or a change of line really mm-hmm. which is essentially doing the same thing <laughs> as you discussed um even in politics mm-hmm. in the medical line and using your expertise to refine mm-hmm. those policies that mm-hmm. um currently sit within uh, the medical system but can you tell us a little bit more about yeah. yourself like why how long have you been in uh politics for mm. and before that mm. you practice you're still practicing as a doctor I believe Yes yes still working there um so in terms of the political field um last year I ran as a candidate for local government wow. and I was blessed to be successful in that so I currently work as a local board member yeah. uh, on the Mangere Otahu local board so that's given me uh, a glimpse of how the local government works 
um, how the machinery of everything goes with, yeah. with Auckland Council, especially with the COVID lens now where budgets have been cut, um, a lot of jobs have been lost. Yeah. Um, so so we've, we've had to deal with that on a local government level. So imagine the you know central government and everything that happens there. But I, I think having the experience of local government, um, I'm still learning, obviously, it's my first term. Yeah. Um, but it's just really good to have that sort of lens when you're trying to get into central government. But if I do become successful, um, I've already got that experience to work with our local governing bodies and, and councillors, yes. local boards. Yeah. But even if we take a step back um, before my 12 years as a medical doctor, the reason why I, I got into medicine, so let's say my parents, um, they migrated from Samoa yeah. uh, in, the, in the early 80s. Um, yeah. I was born here in New Zealand. A lot of our Pacific, we grew up in central Auckland um, because that's where everyone migrated to, Ponsonby, Grey Lynn. Yeah. Uh, but when I was a young kid, three or four, we migrated to South Auckland, uh, where a lot of our people now live. Yeah. Uh, I was in, so I grew up in Mangere for mm -hmm. about 30 years. Yeah. And um, because I, I actually got sick when I was, as a young teenager, I got sick with bone cancer and I got lung cancer as well. Wow. So a lot of people thought um, I wasn't going to make it as a young kid. So I guess when I, so I, I come from a faith background as well. So yeah. I said, uh, Lord, if this, um, if I survive this, I'll do something in medicine because it really got for me the interested. Good of, for the good for of For the good people. of people, yeah. Because yeah. I saw how people helped me. So I should be, you know, if I was to survive, giving it back to, giving the, it back yeah. to the community. So that's why I got into medicine. And I thought to, I studied at Auckland Uni, came back to uh, Mangere to serve uh, Miramar Hospital and around South Auckland. Um, so that's that's really why the foundation of where I'm at where you are, yeah, yeah. is because yeah got sick, came into medicine, and now I really want to just influence on a larger scale of how I can uplift the health of everyone. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. So yeah. it's not it won't be wrong to say that you have endured it all, uh, mm -hmm. whether that is. Um, if you just talk about the medical system as mm. a patient, mm. but also um, as as a doctor as well yeah. to provide it back to the to community, that's very inspiring. <laughs> yeah, that's very um, inspiring. Yeah. So w when I go out for talks or I meet with people, I tell them first I was a professional patient yes. before I was a health professional. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've done my years as a patient. I know, you know, on on that side of things, going through all the treatments, surgeries, and all that. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that. Sometimes they see me limping, but yes. it's because I do have a total knee joint, middle knee joint there. And sometimes I get short of breath because I only got one lung. So, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh so, my goodness. So I can, I can sort of talk with patients with good empathy and um, just, just give them, you know, this is how it's done. And yeah, so having that sort of experience helps my job yeah. Uh, yeah. much, much better. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's such an inspiration <laughs> for everyone out there who. Um, you know, wants to get somewhere, but you know, always, I mean, all of us face different challenges in life mm. in our own ways, but this is absolutely mm. inspirational of having gone through what you've actually gone through, mm. but like, you know, coming out of it with, mm. you know, such a strong uh, personality, mm. but also at the same time, you know, giving it back to the community, mm. just learning a lot from that experience, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and that's been a blessing for myself and my family is just seeing the, the lives that you can impact and influence. So. I guess this sort of political journey is just another step uh, forward to help on a, on a larger scale. On a larger scale. Yeah. Can I just say, um, Dr. Levasa, I think I've walked into this interview not knowing you as a person, but I am actually walking away with so much respect in my heart <laughs> yeah. for everything uh, you have been through and um, everything that you are still doing for the community. So yeah. uh, congratulations. Thank and I, I'm thinking all of the people that are actually currently watching um, <laughs> you know, this interview would be really inspired um, you know, yeah. through your words and just through your life experience. Thank you. And I think you know, everyone has their own struggles that yes, they yeah. go through. Um, for me, I tell people, my greatest success is actually being alive, being here. Everything else for me is more of a bonus. Yeah. So I just live day to day and just say, I'm thankful that I'm here first. And if I go through journey and if I fall, if I win or lose, you know, like, because of my faith, you know, I'll just keep going because it's a bonus for me to be here. <laughs>
That's so beautiful. That's such a great message <laughs> and something we definitely need to learn a lot from you uh, yeah. right there and then. Um, finally, talking, I think people can now understand your background and where you're coming from and being a doctor, but now, you know, stepping up, up into sort of politics, starting at the local board level. Um, and the reason you have actually, uh, you know, made the decision of uh, mm. being the candidate um, in the mm. Labour, uh, candidate from the Takanini um, electorate. Um, I think finally, if, is there a sort of a, do you want to do a vote appeal? <laughs> that's, oh, that's how we usually appeal. finish. Do you want yeah. to do a vote appeal? Or um, can you share with us where the details of mm. um, you know, the elections and the okay. campaigns? And yep. I'm sure there's going to be uh, uh, members of a community who mm. would really want to be able to assist you in some okay. way or the other and contribute. Yep. Okay. Um, and, I, and I think with, with the Takanini electorates, um, there, there is a bit of confusion of where the suburbs are because it's, it's a new electorate. Right. Yep. So just to um, a, a small brief, it comes from Flatbush. Uh, starts from Flatbush, comes down to Tortara Park, uh, Ranrook Park, mm -hmm. Clover Park, all the way down to Takanini itself. Manurewa East is also included. So if people want to get in contact with me, you can find me on the Facebook page, uh, Dr. Nirule Avasa for Takanini. Please message me. Um, you'll, you'll find all my information there, our events popping up as well. So uh, one thing I'll, I'll leave with you is that I'm a I'm really passionate about the community. I, I do want to help out where I can, and um, your support will definitely help me get there in terms of um, helping Takanini as a whole with all the suburbs that's that's uh, in there, uh, so that I can give back to you. So. Yeah, that's that's my take. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I think we've covered everything we really wanted, and you know, thank you for uh, letting our audiences know as well of what the Tekanini uh, mm. electorate is actually composed of. Because mm. as you said, it's a new electorate, mm. and so they can be actually confusing. But yeah, um, you can get in touch with uh, Dr. Nero Levasa. Um, do I pronounce your name right? Yeah, Levasa. Leva yeah. Le yeah. um, through his Facebook page, and if you want to be involved, just hit him up. Yeah. And yeah. absolutely approachable, absolutely <laughs> approachable. Um, thank you so much for being here today thank and uh, for taking the time out and we wish you all the very best for the elections this <laughs> thank year. Thank you, Lovely. Thank you, listeners and everyone. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>